July 16th, the concept of divine control. How much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Matthew 7, verse 11. Jesus is laying down the rules of conduct in this passage for those people who have his spirit. He urges us to keep our minds filled with the concept of God's control over everything, which means that a disciple must maintain an attitude of perfect trust and an eagerness to ask and to seek. Fill your mind with the thought that God is there, and once your mind is truly filled with that thought, when you experience difficulties, it will be as easy as breathing for you to remember, my Heavenly Father knows all about this. This will be no effort at all, but will be a natural thing for you when difficulties and uncertainties arise. Before, you formed this concept of divine control so powerfully in your mind, you used to go from person to person seeking help. But now, you go to God about it. Jesus is laying down the rules of conduct for those people who have his spirit, and it works on the following principle. God is my Father. He loves me. And I will never think of anything that he will forget. So why should I worry? Jesus said, There are times when God cannot lift the darkness from you, but you should trust him. At times God will appear like an unkind friend, but he is not. He will appear like an unnatural father, but he is not. He will appear like an unjust judge, but he is not. Keep the thought in the mind that God is behind all things strong and growing. Not even the smallest detail of life happens unless God's will is behind it. Therefore, you can rest in perfect confidence in Him. Prayer is not only asking, but is an attitude of the mind which produces the atmosphere in which asking is perfectly natural. Ask, and it will be given to you. Matthew 7, verse 7.